Oh, hey, how's it going? Do you want to come party? Boys, girls, whatever? We got drugs, we got bitches, we got sex, we got it all. You come to the hostel, we come, we, we party with you and everything. Come, follow, 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 follow James. You know, you can trust James. Yeah, we have good time. <clears throat> Howdy, tubers. Welcome to my daily October series, horror recommendations, sorry, horror recommendations for the easily scared. I'm James, and that was an example of the movies of today. <laughs> sorry if that was a bit meh, a bit cringy, but that's what I do. Today's movies are Hostel 1 and Hostel 2 from 2005 and 2007. I'm not doing Hostel 3 because it was straight to DVD and I don't count that. <clears throat> um, Hostel 1, uh, directed by directed and written by Eli Roth, hyped up by uh, Quentin Tarantino, starring uh, Jay Hernandez, Derek Richardson, oh, I'm a butcher these names, sorry, and Eoith Gudjusen, Barbara Nevedelic, sorry, uh, Rick Hoffman, and um, uh, Petra Janis, I believe. Yes, and I hate Rick Hoffman, but we'll get to that in a minute. And Hostel 2, or Part 2, um... Both written and directed by Eli Roth. This time starring uh, Lauren German, Roger Bart, Heather Matarazza, Matarazzaro. I love her. Um, Bijou Phillips, Richard Berge, Vera um, Jordanova. Yes, that's it. So, synopsis for Hostel 1. Best friends Josh, um, Derek Richardson, and Paxton, Jay Hernandez, decide to spend the summer after college graduation on an all-out backpacking trip across Europe. Woo! Um, while stopping in Amsterdam, because of course, to indulge their taste for drugs and sex, they meet Ollie, Eoth Gurdjieffson, I'm, I'm sorry, a like-minded traveller from Iceland. When the three bachelors set off to investigate um, ethnic and sorry, enticing rumors of a Slovakian hostel in a city populated by lusty women, they find themselves drawn unwittingly into a deadly game. Yeah, so this is <laughs> this is uh, one of those movies where you don't follow the local customs, as the local game is tourists. And Hostel 2, no, actually Hostel 1, we'll continue with that one. Um, it goes for, well, how long does it go for? Um, it's rated R, literally rated R for all my audience. Um, only went for an hour and a half. Um, a pretty good, uh, this is more body gore factor. This is with the torture porn um, era. Um, I was considering either Saw or... Um, Another body horror genre or torture porn. But this one is for all the backpackers out there. Those who are graduating, welcome to my channel. Do you want to go backpacking now after watching um, Hostel? I don't reckon. Um, uh, yeah, there is some fucked up scenes in this. It's like Eli Roth is really good at what he does. This will make you question if you want to go to a hostel. This will make you jump, squirm, kind of be grossed out. I almost puked at a certain scene because I was like, ugh. Um, uh, in, yeah, uh, and Rick Hoffman, he is, in my opinion, a, like an awful human being. He's, hold on, what's he from? Rick Hoffman, he's a creepy ass motherfucker in my opinion. He's from Suits, 
Uh, he plays Louis Litt. Um, he's from Samantha Who, Chase Chapman, um, Jake in Progress, The Bernie Mac Show. He's been in, he's been in a few things. Um, but he's the creepiest in Hostel. As he, uh, I'm about to play a scene, and he and um, it's basically the uh, American or like um, rich people, rich, rich businessmen paying to torture tourists. And because they want to have a rush, because sex doesn't do it anymore, um, and drugs don't do it anymore, so why not torture? And so he's like, um, well, J- Paxton has just escaped his torturer, and um, he's trying to blend in, like, and all that stuff. He, and um, Hoffman's like about to introduce himself, but he's like. Hey man, I'm like how was it? like the way his face is like it's it's it's, like, it's really weird, but yeah he's like because hmm. I want to torture someone. Hmm. I'm like Ew. Yes, um, Russian client, uh, Russian tourists, uh, $5,000, uh, European tourists, uh, $10,000, and Americans are $25,000, so, to torture. Yeah, he's asking uh, Paxton, how was it like to torture someone? Jay, Paxton hasn't uh, tortured anyone, but he's like, how was it? And it's like, dude, that face, really? Okay. Because this is the, uh, the, his first time being there, and he wants to know if he should do it quick or should he do it slow. Good. Goddamn motherfucker, this money it better be shit. What'd you go for, a local? What, European? American. An American. Look that bitch. Big spender. I fucking I just love it. I just fucking love that shit. You know what they got for me? They told me they lined up something real special. I've been mean, waiting for almost a week for this shit. I mean, like, 50 grand, she better be worth it. You know what I mean? But it's supposed, it's supposed to be real. It's supposed to be a real rush, right? It's like, it's, it's like they told me, yeah, it's, like, it's, like, it's like a real fucking rush, right? Come here. I've been all over the world. You know, I've been everywhere. And the bottom line is pussy's pussy. You know, every strip club, every whorehouse, every... It's all the same shit. You know, I just fucked a girl two days ago, and I don't even remember the color of her tits. But this... <coughs> this is something you never forget. Right? Right? Never. Never. Let me show you something. It's pretty sweet. Check this out. What do you think it is? Come on, let me see yours. Come on, let me see yours. We're all in the same club. What? I'll be on a second, guy. <laughs> Can I ask you something personal? Do you, do you mind? How'd you do it? I mean, did you do it real slow? Or did you, or did you just get it over with right away? Because that's why I asked for the fucking gun. Because I just wanted to just fucking do it quick. You know what I mean? I just wanted to just get it over with. But now I'm thinking maybe, you know, maybe that. Because I, I, I want to feel it. You know what I mean? I just want to fucking feel that shit. So I'm, I'm, I don't know what to, I, I'm thinking, what, what, do you, what, do you, what do you think I should do? Make it quick. Make it quick. Yes. Yeah, that's, no. Fuck that shit. Fuck this too fucking American, dude. I'm going fucking old school. Who wants this, motherfucker? Who wants this shit? Yeah, it gets weird like that. Like, if you're squirmish, uh, this is for your easily scared friend. This is for, this is why, like I said, for the la, for the final pick for this week, 
um, has been, is hostile one and two, and uh, this is the one to be like, oh my god. Um, so hostile two is sets um a hole for um, it's first it was uh two dudes plus finding a third one along the way. Uh, the second one is about uh three uh American chicks who decide to travel. Um, Beth, Lauren, German. Lorna, Heather Matarzo, and Whitney, Bjorn Phillips. I am so sorry for butchering these names. Three young American women travel abroad in, abroad in Rome, decide to take a weekend excursion. Lured from their intended destination by a beautiful acquaintance, Vera Jordanova. Um, the women ex- anticipate a stay in a luxury spa. Instead, they become pawns in a grisly game designed to entertain wealthy deviants from around the world. Um, which this is good. Eli Roth up the uh, backstory to the to, to the to this genre a bit more because um, I was curious about like why would you do that? But then it's like it's strictly for the rich and bored as they. Um, photos are taken of the tourists and um, um, the uh, p- uh, rich people get to bid on who they want to torture. And two of the dudes that uh, get to uh, they want to torture are two American guys, businessmen. One's like a weedy little dude like, oh, I want to draw. I just don't know if I should. And one's a cocky ass dude like, oh, yeah, bro, blood, God, tits. We got to torture these bitches. I was like, okay, but it's funny, in a weird way, how their character development changes because the cocky guy, he's like got a chainsaw or whatever, is about to torture someone, he's like, oh, oh okay, maybe not. He has a change of heart, but the weedy dude, he, he goes all out of it, he's like, oh yeah, this is fucking fun, you're like, what the fuck, man? Um... But yeah, I I like that aspect uh, to a certain degree because it showed that um, Elo Roth thought about the uh, the background a bit more and made it um, uh, a bit more uh, inventive, um, had its own little world backstory and all that stuff. Um, <clears throat> the scene I'm about to play is purely for. Shock factor only. It's very hot, in my opinion. Like, I'm a twisted little fucker. <laughs> um, uh, but who? Sorry. Lorna is tied up, upside down, strung up, uh, and she and the uh, lady is in a bath, and she's about to torture her with a scythe. And it's awesome. She's like, she gets naked, relaxes, and teases the body with a scythe. And then, you know, blood sprinkles on her. And I have to say, personally, that's hot. It's a fucked up thing to see, but that's hot. And just seeing the scythe toy with her. And you can kind of feel the blade go down.
Like, I love um, Matrazo. She's an excellent actress, but but to see her getting tortured like that, it's, it's very hard. She's basically bathing in the blood, and it's just like, oh, what the hell is wrong with you, woman? But I'm, everyone's like that. I'm like, I'm turned on right now. That's a hot thing to see. <laughs> Eli Roth, you fucked up, sadistic man. I love you. Thank you for that scene alone. <laughs> um, yes. Um, so, torture porn is today's object. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Um, did, uh, did you guys see this at the movies? I did. I saw both of them. Um, did you did you like the movies? Did you like uh, what Eli Roth did? Um, and with the, there's a couple of certain scenes that made you cringe. Um, if you were in that situation, how would you want to get tortured? Or if you were rich enough, who and how would you want to torture someone? That's probably a question for the FBI. But yes, um, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Um, we are on the last three days uh of october um the t the thirtieth I am doing an honorable mentions list of horror movies you should have seen um uh, that I couldn't mention before, and then the Halloween itself we will be doing the countdown of what I've picked of um the other genres and um the movie that is number one to watch that will scare the fuck out of you for reasons why. Yes. Um, so, yes. Thank you. Uh, like, share, subscribe, like I said. And remember, let's build the trust before scaring them shitless. <laughs>